Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And we're actually going to talk about a new topic today, which is Fortnite. I haven't talked about Fortnite at all, but I've talked a lot about PUBG, and I think I want to talk a little bit more about Fortnite. And, you know, kind of, you know, PUBG's there, but Fortnite is kind of a similar game. And today's video is actually if Fortnite is the perfect game. And this is something I've thought about for quite a bit of time, is the concept of Fortnite being a perfect game. Now, when it comes to Fortnite, you have, you know, the graphics are, they're not exactly the best, but they do something which is they're very colorful and they look very forgiving almost. You know, if, if you're turned off by graphics, this game might suffice because, you know, if you're a new gamer, playing a game like Call of Duty, you know, very gritty type graphics, is gonna be intimidating, but Fortnite is almost in a way childish, and I think it benefits the game a lot. And the next thing about it is its accessibility, because Battle Royale mode is free. Ba Fortnite has its free Battle Royale mode. It has its Zombies mode, but not a lot of people play that. You know, when I say, hey, do you wanna play Fortnite? It's not, do you wanna play the Zombies mode? It's, you wanna play Battle Royale in Fortnite. And I think that Battle Royale element kind of creates not necessarily a bad competitive atmosphere, but a good competitive atmosphere of giving you, sometimes giving you the opportunity, you know, maybe you can engage with this guy or maybe not, you know, an excellent risk reward system. That's very important to Fortnite. It's got an amazing challenge to it. And I mean, the challenge is very achievable because if you sit there and play Fortnite and spend spectate people after you're dead, you can watch the challenge be achieved. Now beyond that, you have, well, the live stream quality and video quality. Fortnite has a ton of different strategies you can do and therefore, you know, you can make YouTube videos on it. It's fun to watch. People can literally, I think you could base a channel off of Fortnite, honestly. And it's very live streamable. Dr. Disrespect talked about this on the H3 podcast a while ago and he talked about PUBG. And he said that PUBG is very much a streamable game because it's easy to understand what's going on. There's places where you can talk, tell stories, and talk to your chat. And then there's intense moments. And Fortnite has the same thing, except it has quicker paced games. Now that might turn a few people off, but for most of us, if you can see the systems of a game, you can see it's going to have some downtime and it's still competitive. It's really just... Hey, I'm in some mood for some Fortnite. Hey, I'm in some mood for some PUBG. You know, sometimes I don't want to play PUBG because a match takes a half hour, 40 minutes. But Fortnite, 15 minutes, 20 minutes a match. I don't know how long a normal match is, but it's definitely faster than PUBG. And it's more, again, towards the benefit of Fortnite than uh, against it, mostly. This is something that Phase Jeff has talked about, and it's the thumbnails for media for Fortnite. Thumbnail, thumbnails and pictures of Fortnite are very colorful and eye-catching and you can do a lot with them. And I think that's very beneficial to Fortnite is it can encourage media coverage because of how easy it is to make a good looking thumbnail or a good looking picture for your web article. And it, it helps Fortnite out. I mean, if it's easy to make pieces of, for, of Fortnite content and it's easy to make good visuals, you might be more inclined to work on it as opposed to something like Halo. Halo, I, I consider Halo to be a harder game to make thumbnails for. Call of Duty World War II, it's a very gritty game. It's harder to make thumbnails for that game. I think a downside to Fortnite though is it is online only, but you know, in this day and age, I think that games, there's a single player element to Fortnite because you can do solo matches and it kind of gives you a single player experience if you know what i mean but in 2018 gaming is pushing online right we see microsoft with the game pass really pushing for the digital market basically killing physical games one step at a time and you know gaming is going to get online really fast it you know you can maybe on some games you can see people's records or other things like that but i think that um, you know, for single single player experiences, being able to switch on and off multiplayer is something that you might do during your experience. Fortnite, 
it's a competitive game, yes, but there's such a there's enough variety and stuff that's out of your control to make it more of a single player game, but there's still enough stuff in your control to also make it a multiplayer game. It fuses the two together in a crazy way that literally to me it seems like a single player multiplayer fuse that really it works amazingly if you've ever played fortnite you know what i'm talking about so all of this said i think it makes fortnite the perfect game i think it's a great game to introduce someone to multiplayer games i'm not giving someone you know maybe halo Halo Reach, I think, is a great game for an introduction for first-person shooters, even though that game is almost eight years old now. I mean, Halo Reach, I think, is a great game for that. Fortnite, I think, is a great game for competitive people or to introduce someone to competitive games or third-person shooters or anything like that. It would be really good, and that's what I think of Fortnite. I think that's why it's the perfect game, is you can introduce someone to a lot of things with Fortnite, not to mention it's you know, the color and the fun and the single player multiplayer fusion and really the fact, I haven't even mentioned it, it's free. Fortnite is a free game. Like, how more, how much more accessible can you get with a free game, right? So let me know your thoughts in the comments below if Fortnite's a perfect game. Do you even like Fortnite? That's a question I think we should all ask ourselves. Do we really like Fortnite or is it too much of a perfect game and we've played too much of it? But anyway, that's it, guys. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. You can subscribe for more casual gaming videos and gaming commentaries. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam it, post of whatever I decide to make.